All right, people. So I had a fun day today. Saturday. Decided to go to the gym. Car wouldn't start. My Acura. Wouldn't start. Jump started it at my brother's house. Drove it to the gym. Went in there. Worked out. Uh, got out of the gym and battery just dead so um yeah uh <sighs> so I call AAA cause why not I have AAA might as well use it never used it before so they send some dummy out to jumpstart my car. <sighs> Gets out there. It didn't take long for him to get there. I mean, whatever. Everything was good. Everything was fine. I'm trying to back up into in between these two little tiny cars. Okay. Anyways, so he comes out. I'm at the gym. It starts raining, of course, because I'm out here, stupid Colorado. Anyways, so he gets there. Uh, anyways, I'm not, I can't say what kind of person, but he was challenged. But, anyways, um, yeah, so he comes out do whatever, whatever, and, uh, my brother coming out, always likes to bug me when I'm trying to video, so that's him right there, <laughs> anyways, good guy, love, love that, love my brother, um, yeah, so, he comes out, he does whatever he does to my car he tests it that battery first right so he says oh you know your, your cells whatever one of your cells you have an open cell your battery needs replaced I'm like okay yeah I know my brother gets deals on batteries I'll get a battery through him and he's like I'm all I just need a jump start so he's like okay so what does he do plops his jump jumper box right on top of my radiator and breaks my reservoir the, the cap for the radiator reservoir that I just replaced when I bought this car because it was broken. Boom, snaps it off. Then tries to argue with me. Says that, no, I didn't do that. That didn't break. I'm like, dude, you just broke it. I just heard it snap. You just set your thing on there. And he's like, let me go call my boss. I was like, all right. So he calls his boss, does whatever he does. Whatever. 20 minutes goes by. I go to him. I'm like, dude, just give me your boss's number or tell your boss to call me. Give me a jump start and I want to leave. And he's like, oh, well, I have to do a test. I'm like, I don't care. Then do the test. Just call your boss later. I don't care. So anyways, he hands me a card with his boss's number and says, call my boss. Anyways. Uh, so I get the jump start and, uh. He didn't even finish the test or anything, but I don't care because I don't need the test done. I know my battery's junk. So, yeah, what a fun day. Oh, and then when I go to the gym, because it's a super sport gym, which I've already called corporate 24-hour fitness about this before, stupid gym. I When I signed up with the gym membership back in high school, I signed up for all 24-hour fitness gyms. It says right on my contract, all 24-hour fitness gyms. It doesn't say 24-hour active. It doesn't say 24-hour sport, 24-hour super sport. It says all 24-hour fitness, you know, worldwide or whatever it says on there. And I had to fax a stupid lady a long time ago a letter, you know, my contract that says that. And she says, okay, we're going to open you up to all gyms. So I go to this gym, and what do they say? Oh, you can't work out here because you're only a sport gym. You can go to active or sport or just 24-hour, but you can't go to super sport. I'm like, dude, I've already been through this. 
And I know what it is. It's because it's a new gym. And when they authorized it, she authorized it individually. So she had to set every gym up for super sport. She had to add it to my allowable memberships, whatever. And this is a newer gym, so it's probably not on the list. So I told the guy, and he looked He looked up the notes. The notes are on there and say that I'm allowed to go to all gyms. He's like, all right, well, I'll let you work out, but you're going to have to call corporate again or talk to the manager. Ugh, people are just stupid. It's like if it says on there that I'm allowed to go to all gyms, you should just let me go in. Not to mention, you know, I tried to use, even though I'm fired from the railroad, but I tried to use the you know, membership for the railroad. <sighs> anyway, stupid day. I hate when people are so dumb. Or whatever. I guess that's what makes the world go round. But anyways, so everything always happens to me, Granny. So yeah, I was checking the uh, voltage with this little, I don't know if you guys have ever seen these things, this little OBD2 scanner. It's pretty cool. So yeah, it says my battery's toast, it won't. It's only reading 13.2 and 13.3 volts. So the battery's not holding the charge, so I need to get a battery. So I guess I'll take the Raptor and go get a battery. The G Raptor. I forget why I called it a G Raptor. Because it goes slow. I don't know. Anyways, that's going to conclude this video. I'm irritated. And then my headphones, batteries was batteries were dead. So I just basically <laughs> had them in my ears at the gym. Just so uh, people wouldn't try talking to me. Because I hate when people try talking. Some guy was asking if I was using the machine while I was on the machine. He's like, oh, excuse me, are you using that? Excuse me, are you using that? And I just kept ignoring him. I'm like, no, stupid. I'm, I'm on the machine pulling down, and you're interrupting me while I'm trying to pull the weight. You know, what little weight I can pull now. And you're bugging me, so I just kept ignoring him. And then there was two other pull-down machines that were widely open. But maybe he wanted to use the bar that that one had. But big old dumb stupid guy that's all roided out. So it's like really you have to have this machine. But maybe he's OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD. Yeah. Maybe he's that. I don't know. But like, why do people do that? So I just left my my headphones in my ear even though nothing was on. <laughs> Just so people would think, oh man, man he's rocking out to some music. But... Alright guys, so uh, that's going to conclude this video. I gotta go get in my work truck and probably go get a battery. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.